Good morning. It's Friday, November 12, 2021. And I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Deeply Rooted, and our scripture is Colossians chapter 2, where Paul writes, And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him, and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught, and you will overflow with thankfulness. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high-sounding nonsense that comes from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world rather than from Christ. For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. So you are also complete through your union with Christ, who is the head over every ruler and authority. Following anything closely creates roots. Just ask a drug addict or a sports fan. It works positively in a person's life, just as certainly as it can have a negative result. If you follow good directions, for instance, you wind up where you want it to go. If you hear good directions but decide to ignore what you heard, your chances of winding up in the place you want to be diminish exponentially. At the very least, the trip becomes harder and depletes more resources. Paul was encouraging the Colossian believers to follow Christ. Indeed, Paul's advice was not just following, but following closely enough to let the roots of their lives become entwined with the Messiah. In contrast, Paul warns them to be cautious of, quote, empty philosophies and high-sounding nonsense that come from human thinking. This short paragraph explores the possibilities of living the surrendered life of a follower of Christ from the sublime to the ridiculous in 78 words. That is precise direction giving. But, truth be told, you don't need a lot of words when you've just pointed at the gold standard. Boy, you don't know how hard it was for a preacher to write and speak those words about needing less words. For you today, in the matter of checking how deeply your roots are becoming grafted into the masters, start here. First, go over your checkbook to see where your stewardship is rooted. Second, look at this year's calendar to see where your feet want to go. Third, ask, do I want to meditate on scripture or snap on the TV? And fourth, try to dredge up the last time you shared Christ with a perfect stranger. These are only a few suggestions, but how the roots are progressing has a lot to do with the kind of soil in which they're planted. And as a Christian, You'll never be fully mature in Christ until he has all of you down to your root ball. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.